Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn the textual question and answer of the 6th chapter of the 8th standard social textbook SSC Board Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. The name of the lesson is Minerals and Mining. That is the mineral deposits which are there in our earth that we take that is called mining. We go under underground and take the minerals from the earth. This is called as mining. On to the first question. Draw a flow chart showing the visit to and different stages of open cast and underground mining. Here the underground mining nearby our locality is the Singreni Collieries Company. So here I have given the route map for the Singreni Collieries. So how we go uh, or how we reach the Singreni Collieries, the details are given, the route is given. Hyderabad, you go to Hyderabad bus stop, then you go to LB Nagar bus stop. Then to, uh, from LB Nagar you take a bus and you reach Kottagudam bus stop. And from there we, re we take a bus which goes to the Singreni Collieries, the Singreni Collieries Companies Limited and later we get into the underground tunnel with the permission of the authorities over there. On to the second question. Create a table to classify major health challenges, precautions and care taken towards protecting mine workers as follows. While working in the mines, while being employed, that is, uh, this is we are making the difference between the difficulties faced by the people who are working in the mines and the uh, difficulties or the problems faced by the people other than working in the mines. Yeah, the aspect is first one, major health challenges. The people working in the mines, what major health challenges do they have? That is, emission of dust, smoke and poisonous gases in the mines causes frequent sicknesses like breathing problems, allergies, kidney problems and so on. For the other people, that is other employees face common health problems like BP, thyroid, diabetes, anemia or some age related health problems that is what they have. Precautions. Precautions means how to uh, take the preventive measures. While working in the mines, employees should put on masks, wear hand gloves, wear strong boots and attend frequent health checkups. Because they are in a very risky zone, it is very essential to attend a frequent health checkups and take these uh, preventive measures. While being employed otherwise in other companies or other areas, other employees need to eat nutritious food, maintain cleanliness and go for a walk every day. That is they need to maintain uh, good healthy habits in order to have a healthy life. Care taken towards protection for protecting from dangers. What are the things that are be kept in mind uh, for the people who are working in mines are alarms should be in good condition to alert the employees in times of emergency and accidents. Lights on the helmet should be in good condition. Whereas the other people who are in other sectors, employees need to be careful and follow the safety measures taken by the factory management they need to be careful and to and they need to follow the rules and regulations on to the next question narrate the difference in requirement of labor in mines uh, while using machines and human labor what is the difference in the requirement of laborers uh, in uh, uh, usage of machine and uh, without the usage of machine what is the difference requirement of human labor is very less as one machine can do the work of many labors that is when the machines are used the human requirement is very less because one machine can do more work more humans work one machine can do so the human labor requirement becomes less 
then damage to the human body parts during accidents can be avoided by using machines that is when the humans are into a risky zone there are chances of uh, uh, loss of life uh, and uh, whereas where the machines are used the uh, risk to the life or risk to the body parts uh, uh, getting lost during accidents all that can be avoided then on to the next question see the map of telangana showing minerals in this chapter and identify the minerals found in your district our district is rangareddy district and in this district we find granites that is granites are found in my district that is rangareddy district on to the fifth question read the paragraph under the heading to whom do the minerals belong and answer the following questions the minerals do not belong to any particular person but they belong to all people justify with reasons that is the mineral wealth which are uh, found deposited in our country uh, it, does it belong to a single person or it belongs to all the people just tell just justify to whom it belongs minerals are treated as a wealth of a nation so they belong to all the people living in the country so it is a, a common thing that is uh, belong it's a belonging to uh, everyone that is all the people of a country are the owners of the mineral wealth available in the country therefore the mines are nationalized by the government and the economical benefits that is whatever money is earned by this mineral wealth and the economical benefits that come from mining are used for the development of the country and is spent for the welfare of the people so we can say that minerals belong to all the citizens this minerals do not belong to a single person it is uh, for all the people it is a treasure for all the people on to the sixth question look at the image given below there are two different statements made by two persons what aspect of mining are they talking about here we see the common man he says that he does not want the mining here whereas the rich man or the uh, entrepreneur here he wants the uh, minerals so what is the difference why this difference of opinion is existing here the mining contractors earn a lot of money by extracting and selling minerals from the mines they make much profit and become rich because of mining so they are in search of land where they can find minerals whereas the common man faces health problems livelihood problems and environmental problems so he does not want mining to take place in his locality generally the agricultural land is also lost the greenery is also lost there are quite a lot of problems that a common man faces hence he does not want mining to happen in his locality whereas the uh, mining contractors they want more mines so that they can extract more minerals and earn more wealth on to the seventh question how do on to the seventh question how do minerals help the country in development the government uses the wealth acquired by minerals to provide sufficient funds to develop underdeveloped regions which helps in the growth of the country so the wealth whichever is earned because of the minerals is used for the development of the underdeveloped regions underdeveloped means not developed very remote areas for that re uh, uh, development is required for that these funds whichever is earned from minerals is used for development the minerals available in the country can be used for manufacturing various products which can fetch huge profits to the country that is instead of selling the minerals as it is 
uh, instead of exporting them as it is we can use them make a product and uh, sell the finished product so that the profit which comes from the finished product is higher than the mineral at its uh, raw level instead of selling it uh, from the initial level it can be made into a finished product and sold so that uh, good profits can be earned and this would help in the development of the country on to the eighth question prepare a table showing different minerals and their uses there are many minerals available in our country i have made a list of just five of the minerals chrome chrome is used for making stainless steel stainless steel is nothing but the utensils that we have in our house those are all made of stainless steel the plates the spoons all these are made of stainless steel for making stainless steel we use a mineral called chrome bauxite bauxite is used for making aeroplanes aircrafts utensils wires foils etc that is bauxite is the ore of uh, aluminium that is aluminium is made from bauxite and this aluminium is a very lightweight uh, mineral and this is used for making aircrafts and some of the utensils in our house are made of uh, aluminium and aluminium foils also we can see mica mica is used in electronic and electrical industry you know mica is a, a bad conductor of uh, uh, heat and uh, electricity so it is used as an insulator barite barite is used for drilling deep holes for extracting petroleum and natural gas in order to extract petroleum and natural gas uh, which are in the uh, underground they are deposited underground they use barite feldspar feldspar is used for making glass and ceramic ware so these are a few minerals uh, about whose use we have seen so far there are many other minerals too you can uh, refer and get to know the different uses of the minerals i do hope the session was useful to you in understanding the minerals and mining in our country and how this mineral wealth helps in the development of our country I am sure you will comment in the comment section and you would subscribe our channel and share it with your friends. Thank you and have a great day ahead.